The Trent 1000 entered into service in 2011 and it was designed and optimised to power Boeing's 787 Dreamliner. The Trent 1000 was a very efficient engine and it's a very reliable engine, but as the aircraft entered into service and was adopted by more customers, the requirements of the aircraft grew and that aircraft grew larger and became heavier and the engine struggled to keep up with the thrust that was needed for the size of the aircraft. And what we saw was a decline in the durability of the engine. So some of the parts, particularly the high pressure turbine blade in the hot section of the engine, were not lasting as long as we had expected them to. As you start to bring that engine off more frequently because the parts don't last long enough, you start to create a risk that you don't have enough engines in the fleet because too many of them are in your overhaul bases. And that leads to what we call an AOG risk with aircraft on the ground. We're a very customer focused business in Rolls-Royce. Historically, we've always punched above our weight because we've been great at partnering. So when we disappoint a customer, it really hurts us. And everybody at Rolls-Royce has been focused on getting the fix in place for the Trent 1000. So the first thing I will say is that we have been working in absolute lockstep with Boeing and Rolls-Royce as one team to respond to this situation with vigour. Combined with that, we've also invested heavily in our durability enhancements to extend time on wing and importantly what we're putting in place is lasting change such that we will reach a sustainable zero AOG position. So I'm delighted to say that the package is, has now been fully certified by the FAA, which is a huge achievement for the whole team. We actually already have the package installed on engines, ready to go and be shipped to customers from Boeing. And we will be rolling the package right through the fleet at PS over the course of the next two years. So what customers can expect to see from this is effectively more than doubling our time on wing. And this is giving us and our customers the engine that they deserve and one that we can all be truly proud of. In January this year, we took a decision to cut over production, that is to start building new engines with the new parts. I did that because I was very confident in the blade. We'd seen it operating in the Trent 7000, where in some instances it had more than triple the time on wing. Now that customers understand the modifications ready and available in the engine, there's a lot of interest in looking at the Trent 1000 in future campaigns. So it's been hugely positive, and this year we've had some great conversations. The Phase 1 durability enhancement is just the very first page of our important new chapter that we're writing for the Trent 1000. To complement that, we've also started work on the next phase, which will offer our customers an additional up to 30% time on wing improvement. Our commitment to the Trent 1000 is strategic and long term. It's really important to us in the context of our relationship with Boeing, who are really looking forward to seeing a competitive engine on the aircraft. And of course, it's important to us in the context of the market. The 787 is a great aircraft, it's selling really well, and we want to be part of that success story in the future. And we now have the world-class engine to achieve that.